Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. So as promised, I'm going to do a, a faux side. Woo! Oops. <laughs> I'm going to do like a faux side pompadour. So it looks like that. Got a nice part, and it's really sleek, but it still has a lot, quite a bit of height. Um, you can wear this to work, whatever. I think it's kind of a masculine but yet still kind of feminine, edgy hairstyle. It, um, I don't know, I really like vintage hairstyles like the Rockabilly era. That's where I kind of got this idea. Um, and I didn't really see a whole lot of uh, short hair hairstyles. I can do a regular pompadour, but if I'm just trying to style my hair and get out the door quick, I'm probably going to do this and I think it looks pretty cool. So if you want to learn how to do this style, it's really easy. All you need are a, a back comber comb, whichever kind you want, it doesn't matter. You can use a regular comb, but it's not necessary. This is really the only comb you need. And you need some hairspray, and that is it. So two products. So anyway. Thank you for watching and see you in the clip. Okay, so I started with wet hair. You're just gonna kind of brush it back and um, blow dry it back all the way with a round brush. I like to just take sections and kind of roll your brush in your hair like that and then just kind of concentrate the hair dryer on the piece and that's gonna give you the body and lift that you want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair so I'm just going to use a comb with like a little rat tail thing on it. And I'm going to create a pretty deep side part. And you want this to be straight. And I'm going to have little hairs that just do not want to work for me. Coming over here. Yep, there's some sticking up right there. <laughs> so you can probably just comb them down because they're just little baby hairs you can't even hardly tell anyway. So you just want to get quite a bit of hair over here on whichever side you want to do it. And then I just tuck that piece. And then to get that kind of slicked down, I'm going to use this Herbal Essences Tousling Spray Gel. And just give it a couple of sprays. And then take my comb again and just get it really nice and sleek. And if you tuck your hair behind your ear like I do, go ahead and just sleek it down to where it's tucked behind your ear so it's nice and clean on the side right there. Next I'm going to take a teasing comb. Um, I've got two different kinds that I kind of use interchangeably. They both work really, really well. I've got this one from Tool Structure and it came from Sally's. It looks just like a regular comb, but whenever you look at it, it's got like three rows of bristles. It's really great for teasing. I think they call this a back comber. Then I've got another comb that's kind of the same thing, except it's got boar bristles. So this one works really well too. So I think I'll use that one. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to section some of these pieces off, like right there, and then take your hairspray. I'm just using the one and only Argon Oil Hairspray and give a little spritz and then start teasing it down. And yes, your hair is going to stick up like that. Then take the next section and do the same thing. And the last section I'm going to do, I usually do about four sections. Let's give it a spray. And then tease it down. So now you're kind of left with a thing like that. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my spray gel again and I'm going to slick this side down. Just give a couple of sprays and get it really nice. 
and slicked down. You want it to be really nice and smooth. You can kind of use your hand, use your comb, just anything to get that hair to lay flat, like no little pieces like flipping out or anything like that. Okay, so now I use the Borbis brush for this reason because all this teasing right here, you want it to look kind of smooth, but you still want that body. So I'm going to take this hair and just start combing it over. And that's going to, you can see where the pompadour is kind of being created here. I got a piece. So you want to just get it nice and slick down. You can make this as high as you want to. Um, it doesn't matter. It's very easy to do. It looks really cool. And then I kind of just like let it, I don't know, let the pieces kind of go back some instead of just coming straight down because my pieces on top are pretty, um, I don't know, they're, they're pretty long so if they just hang in my face they kind of look like that. So I kind of try to get them back as much as I can. You can do a baby one or you can do a big one whichever you choose. You can just kind of work it with your fingers and take your spray and get some sprays. And you can go back with your comb and lift little individual pieces. So it looks really cool from the side looks cool from the front too, but I really like the way it looks from the side. And you want it to be pretty smooth. So any of these little flyaways that you got, get those sprayed down. So see your hair is just really sleek in the front and you can't see all the teasing that you've done. So that is pretty much it. Um, you can play with it some. You can make it look kind of um, grungy and wet. You can use a spray gel instead of hairspray but I kind of like the look of the hairspray where it's a little more sleek looking. So I'm gonna kind of give you a little 360 to show you how it looks. Everything. Hope you can see all that in the camera thing. But this is how I do my little side kind of faux pompadour thing. Uh, it's just really quick and easy. Easy style for you to do with your hair. So thank you so much for watching and I will probably have some more short hair tutorials coming up um, once I learn how to do more short hair styles. So <laughs> thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time.